We went to see 1984. Now, this is, of course, based on the novel of the same name, George Orwell, mm -hmm. written well before 1984, mm -hmm. but surprisingly accurate in what the type of technology that they have. A lot of you can be watched every minute by the government. And, well, now you actually can be watched every minute, but it's not necessarily by the government. It's more likely Google has a lot more interest in you than the government or does. Your, or your Samsung phone or your microwave or, you know. You know, or, <laughs> or whatever. But here you have the totalitarian of totalitarian, 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 right. totalitarian states based on the old Soviet Union or perhaps the aspiring Soviet Union. And it focuses on uh, a man and a woman who are trying to overthrow this government. Well, and one of the things, love is banned. Love, it, there is no mixing of the sexes, and love is banned. Well, so, except for procreation. Yes, but that's done a test tube kind of thing. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not done with men and women. That's the whole I idea. It is. Uh, 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 right. I don't think so. But in any case, in any case, the, the way they start is not to mm -hmm. overthrow the government. They simply fall in love with each other, and then it turns out that she's got a, a, a larger agenda than that, and that that's part of. The overthrow. Right, well, he also finds he also finds himself a diary, right? And but the way this which, play which, was put together, keeping notes, keeping history, because history has changed it. And ironically, the, the, this character Winston, uh, played very well by Tom Sturridge, and uh, the girl was played by uh, Olivia Wilde, is um, is in the office of misinformation, for lack of a better word. Right. It's his job to change things. So one day, we're at war with England. We've always been at war with England. Next day, we're at war with France. We've always been at war with France. England has always been our ally. Yeah. And all the points, it's been like 30 years since I've read the book, but all the points that I remember are included in the play. And the staging is phenomenal. I mean, See, just I how didn't they... I think so. Really? I was very disappointed, given the fact that we have such a, an ability to put technology on the stage. Mm -hmm that we can do anything we want to these days. Right. They went very old fashioned. They put it into a room. They had they had s some sound, some light things, but mostly they went back and forth in time. Well, when they were in the room, yes. they were broadcasting this room that supposedly was private. They were broadcasting that scene on a big television screen. Uh, yeah, I understand that, but th that that was that's minor in terms of what we're able to do. They they put it almost but as if it was in the time that it was written, rather than in the time you, that you it's trying to be about. You could not have you could not have done that in the time. You couldn't have had a TV exactly. that screen. I you wanted couldn't to have used the. Okay, you know what I wanted to see. I wanted. Mm -hmm. you remember when they did the uh, the uh, it must have been an iPhone commercial that was based on the idea of everybody going in one direction and somebody going in the other direction and breaking. You loose. mean the original Macintosh. Computer. Whatever it was, it was about, it was based on the concept of 1984. It was yes. everybody mechanized and Yes, whatnot. and someone comes with a hammer and breaks the yes, screen. Exactly. Yes, exactly. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see that kind of gigantic effect that could have been done on stage now, that couldn't have been done even 10 years ago. And I didn't see that. I saw I saw it all being done quietly. And I saw I saw um, Grand Guignol, fake, fake blood, you know, and fake scariness. And somehow it just stayed fake to me. And I'm sorry. Oh. I mean... It I was, wish I could have liked pretty it more. Real, it was pretty real to me. This was directed by Robert Icke and Duncan uh, McMillan, uh, also adapted, uh, adapted by, by the by two them of them. As well, yeah. I thought it was brilliantly done. Okay. It was hard. It was cold. It got the point of 1984, and they've it, they've added an interesting ending that. Well, we won't. We're not going to. I, I, that I away, won't give obviously. it away, but the way it's handled, very good because you think, well, maybe things are going to change, but. Maybe not. Yeah. So. Well, the only thing is, I mean, if you listen to, <laughs> you're going to love me for saying this, mm -hmm. but if you listen to Mr. Trump reading the parts of his speeches in, in Arizona just now that he wanted people to hear after we all listened to the actual speeches and he mm -hmm. leaves out parts, that's his 19, that's the scary 1984 that I didn't see in this play. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought it was plenty scared. And the interesting okay. thing is, I didn't think at all of Donald Trump. You didn't. No. Goodness gracious me, how could you not? Okay. You know. Seriously? So what would you give it? I would give it four playbills. I would give it mm, 2.75. That's, that's about where okay. I was with it. Sorry.